main topic this week, I mean to tell you, we've had emails, I've had Facebook questions, I've had uh, people in the store uh, this week that have all of a sudden had a mockingbird show up at their bird feeder station, either their water or their bird feeders, trying to run off the other birds. And you know, oh, what's going on? Why is this? Well, first off, we need to start with mockingbirds because not many people are that familiar with mockingbirds in our area. Uh, the northern mockingbird, the picture here behind me, uh, a gray bird, medium-sized bird, uh, maybe about the size of a cardinal, a little uh, more slender than that, uh, a long pointed bill, uh, three different kind of shades of gray um, on them. And they, when they fly, they have big white flashes in their wings that show off and whiten their tail. Uh, why are people not so familiar with those around here? Well, they're mainly a southern bird. This is the state bird of Texas and Mississippi and Tennessee and Arkansas and Florida. So you can tell right away it's a, it, primarily across the southern United States where they're most numerous. So we uh, up here, in especially in northwest Missouri, have uh, are, been at the northwest fringe of their range. Uh, this is, they, of course, with, with milder winters, we've seen an expansion of their ranges over the last several years, and their numbers have increased in our area. Uh, but you know, when you think of the, them, and uh, Carolina wrens, another example of a bird that that's happened with, um, and then we see, you know, robins and bluebirds spending more time in our areas here in the winter. And a lot of that is a result of, one, uh, landscaping, uh, people producing, uh, planting uh, uh, plants that do produce berries, and that gives them food to subsidize in the winter, and milder winters. Those are all things that help um, increase the population of these southern birds in this more northern area. Well, and when we have really harsh winters like this winter has been so far, birds like the mockingbird and the Carolina wren and bluebirds and, and robins that, that try to winter here uh, start to have a tough time about now because the berry, uh, the soft mass crop as we call it, the berry numbers are getting quite low now. They've been pecked on all winter and so those numbers are, have definitely gone down. Well, they get testy, they get, they, they, they're having a harder time to find the food they want, so they, in the case of these mockingbirds, they're pretty aggressive in nature anyway, so they, they see all these birds feeding at your bird feeder station, they go, well, what are they getting? And they come over and um, they, 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 they start, they will claim it as their own and they'll try to run off those other birds, one from your water source possibly, or possibly from your feeders, but they can't eat the sunflower seed and the safflower seed, they can't crack open a seed hole. Again, like the bluebirds and like the Carolina wrens, they need holeless seed, like little peanut pieces or sunflower kernels, like the fine sunflower chips, the medium sunflower chips. Um, and even that, the, uh, the, the mockingbirds don't particularly care for them all that much, but they will will to survive off of them. If you have a fruit mix, now that is something that they like, they can find, if they find that fruit in there, they'll eat on that. So, these mockingbirds lay claim on your uh, on your bird feeder station, and they start running other things, other birds off. What can we do? How, how can we resolve this? Well, the the advice that I've always given is, uh, you know, you don't want to harm these birds. Obviously, they're they're native and they're they're beautiful singers, and they you know they're they're great birds. It's just you don't want them running off your bluebirds and other species that are coming to your feeders. So, what I recommend is giving them what they want. You can't beat them, so join them. And what I have found personally that to be their absolute favorite is to mix up some peanut butter and cornmeal. Um, you don't have to, if you don't want to use cornmeal, you know, I, I fine sunflower chips are a great mix to mix in with the peanut butter. Peanut butter by itself is a little too tacky. It's you know sticky, and um, it's best to mix it up to get it into more of a crumbly texture. And I used to pack it into an old big pine cone I brought home from North Carolina. But you can put it in any kind of a little simple tray you got plenty of those you know just a little tray that you can hang out and you can improvise and put it in there and the other thing is to soak some raisins in water um, you get them good and plump and then cut the raisins in half and you can put the raisins in there mockingbirds love raisins i had one customer that had pretty much got her, her mockingbird hand trained where she could lay out raisins and just stand there and he would come and eat the raisins off the deck regularly and come right up to her so uh, if you give them that food and put it away from your other feeders that he's trying to dominate, maybe at the other end of the deck, 
and, and he'll claim that area for himself and maybe hopefully leave your other feeders alone to your goldfinches and cardinals and things. Now, uh, if that works, you know, great. And hopefully it will. We've seen it work before, but it's worth giving a try. I have had people that uh, that had to harass them, and that is every time they went by, when they saw him out there doing his thing, they would go by the ice machine on their refrigerator, he had to get a couple ice cubes and throw them at him. You don't want to hurt him, obviously. You just want to drive him away from uh, what he's doing out there and keep him away. But hopefully you can lure him away with his own type of food. So a northern mockingbird, quite a songster. We'll do another program, uh, probably more towards spring, late spring, about bird songs, and they're they're a great bird to talk about when it comes to the birds and singing and how they learn their songs and things like that. But until then, that was a great idea. Send in more ideas for for programs if you would. Give the program a like, share it with your friends. Uh, we appreciate it. And, and until then, come by and let's talk birds. <laughs>